Hello, hello. Look at you beautiful people. Interested in drawing some uh, puppers. They look a lot different. I will say a lot different than their adult counterparts. <laughs> but before I get into it, how is everyone doing today? It's literally just me. So I'm like talking to myself, which isn't weird. Hello. You forgot today was a stream. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Today, we're going to be chatting about how to draw wolf pups. Before I get started, I just want to say that these techniques can work on paper with a pencil. You can use any program, whatever makes the most sense. Boo! Ah! Feather pup! No! Scary! Don't do that. She booed me. That was terrifying. <laughs> Puppers! Squishy! Cute! Floofy. I'll show you guys how to use this. If you are interested in drawing cute pups, I've got uh, a very easy formula that anyone can use to make any wolf puppy look super duper cute. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you how to, uh, how to draw this. Whoops. If I can like pull it up, there we go. I'm not going to show you how to draw this because, uh, Oof, no, that's not what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how to draw puppies like on the thumbnails. Very cute sleeping puppies with fat, floofy, squishy things. And um, that's a lot better. So uh, the beautiful thing about this formula that I'm going to show you guys is you can actually use this on any species. So this works for puppies. Um, this works for little bear cubs. Uh, so whether you're interested in drawing pups, babies, or bambies, without any trouble at all, you're gonna get this in no time, I promise. And the secret to doing all of this, the formula, lies all in the proportions. Oh, thank you, Fire. Definitely appreciate it. You do not have to donate. You guys do not donate. If you don't have the money, please don't donate. Um, but yes, I do appreciate it. Uh, donations like that do help me make, continue, uh, oh my gosh, I can't speak. Donations like that help me continue to make content like this, so thank you so much. So, um, like I was saying, the secret to drawing very cute little wolf puppies is all in the proportions. So grab your pencil, grab your paper, or grab your drawing tablet or whatever it is you use to draw, and let's get into this. Whoops, I, I don't want to show that again. <laughs> all right, and let me grab my pencil and paper which is a uh, code for my tablet and my tablet pencil. All right. So adult wolf proportions versus puppy wolf proportions. What is so different about the two? Why are they so different looking? Whenever you look at an adult, you've got those bigger ears that actually fit your head. And then you've got the little fluff balls on the side of the head. I'm just showing you quick proportions real quick here. And then you've got that snout coming out. Big snout. Wolves have big snouts. Shiloh, don't you boop me. And fire spooked me. Shiloh booped and fire spooked. How dare you? So as you can see with these proportions... It all kind of fits together on the little wolfy wolf's head. Gosh, eyes are hard. That's okay. Get used to it. So this is what you would call an adult wolf. Just really quickly here, you kind of got that thick neck. Very heavily um, paying attention to the anatomy of this big boy. We're doing adults real quick because I want you to know the difference between adults and the babies because the babies look different and then you've got the big shoulders coming into the body go yeah. and then you've got just very quickly here just the back legs and out then the front legs and you kind of get something oof that's terrible but you kind of get something more like this when you're looking at adult adult wolves 
There we are. So you kind of get more of that shape whenever you're looking at adults. Um, and that looks, let me just move this over a little bit here. That looks different than the child's. So let me add another layer here. So whenever I put together the little puppies, um, let's start with the face. So as you can see, the face with this adult, it all just kind of fits together. It's proportional. Babies are not like that. Human babies are not like that. Puppies are not like that. Um, so, like I said, the secret is in the proportions, and the beginning proportion that you have to keep in mind is they have big heads. I mean, big heads compared to their bodies. Um, their heads are actually, here, let's draw this in proportion with the other wolf, too, because I like making, I like making my own job hard. So, let's say they have the same size head. This is something that doesn't really grow as they get older. So this puppy has the same size head as this adult, but you know what's smaller is the ears. The ears are smaller because those still need to grow in. Here we are. And you know what else is smaller? So you got the big cranium, um, little bitty ears. You've also got kind of a tiny, a tiny little nose. It's a little baby puppy nose. Um, and these are the types of proportions that, uh, you know, we are, we are conditioned and customed and bred to just look at that and be like, oh, the little babies. And that's the kind of proportions that we're going at. If you're, if you're interested in drawing something that makes someone just instantly go, oh, these are the proportions that you're looking for. Ah, Minecraft. Don't you boo at me, I boo at you. This proportion setting is really important because this is what makes something cute. You have the big forehead, the tiny ears, the really tiny nose here. You've got like a little bitty snout and a very petite mouth coming off of that snout. We'll give him a little smile. That might have been too small. You don't want it to be like super duper small, but small enough because you want it to look really, really petite. So very petite mouth, very tiny mouth, little bitty chin. And then you've got some fluffs coming off the side here. Some fluffs coming off the side there. The nose is short, or when I say nose, I mean snout. The snout is short. And then the eyes is, is, a big secret part of like how to make things cute so whenever you're looking at the eyes here they're actually going to be kind of further apart and what a lot of people do whenever they try and make something cute is they try and draw big eyes and I actually think the opposite is true I think if you draw kind of small medium eyes and you put big pupils in there see even that's kind of big you put there we go and then the eyes need to be kind of low on the face I feel like this is even too high so I'm gonna like lower this eye a little bit I think it needs to be more like down here there we are so I want it kind of in that position and then I want this one they're kind of further apart on the face lower on the face you can see that it's kind of down here and then you've got that huge cranium coming up the top yarn huge cranium going into those huge ears and then on top of that oops you've got some fluff come on and my pencil stops working great here we go and then all of the lines appear. And then you've got the cranium with just a little bit of fluff coming off of the top of that cr cranium. There you go. And the nose kind of comes like this. And then I think it actually is too long. I think the nose is like really, sh like it's really short. And it really gives it that baby, baby, baby look. There you go. And then have the fluff come off on the side here. And those are the proportions for drawing something 
really cute just focusing on the head you got the eyebrows that kind of come up here to show just how big that head is compared to the jawline down here and uh, the next part that you need to keep in mind are the um, the is the body the body compared to the head and you have a tiny little neck here we go coming off of that head there's really no muscle in there quite yet but you don't want to focus too much on the proportions you want to keep it or not the proportions but the anatomy because you want to keep it like really like these are squishy boys and girls really really squishy um so you want to keep things really squishy i'm gonna have this one actually plop down because they're cute when they plop so you've got a little milk belly coming out the bottom here nice and big buddha milk belly and then you've got these squishy squishy arms that's an arm i promise go and it gets kind of thinner near the bottom squishy arms squishy shoulders and then you've got tiny tiny little paws coming out the bottom of those squishy arms no tiny little paws and it's actually very cute if you pigeon toe them so if you pigeon toe those those uh, little paws it makes it look even cuter <laughs> okay and then coming off of this belly we've got a little knee kind of going that way and a little knee kind of going that way and you've got that big belly big milk belly and then the paws in the background here and you don't want to focus too much on getting things perfect you don't want to focus too much on the anatomy because whenever you focus too much on the anatomy you end up drawing an adult <laughs> um so you can make it even less anatomy up here and kind of really squishy it like you want it to be nice and simple and squishy and that's the other thing i wanted to mention is whenever you're drawing these puppies oh someone donated fire thank you fire donated and then uh to mommy became a full pack member so welcome to the pack thank you so much have a jelly bean appreciate you joining um there we are so whenever you are drawing, oops, whenever you're drawing your little babies, it's very important to keep things super duper simple. So here we go. Let's say, here we go. An adult and a child. Childs, because I don't English. So this is the difference in the anatomy between the adults and the children. The children have bigger heads, the eyes are lower, the jaw lines are smaller, the ears, I, I'm actually going to redraw them because they are smaller than this. There we are. That looks a little bit better. He looked a bit like a fox with those ears. That looks a little bit better. And then squishy, squishy fat arms with tiny teeny tiny paws big old milk belly pigeon toed paws if you can because that's super cute and then i actually made his shoulders a little bit too big you want like tiny tiny little pup shoulders go big milk belly and then i'm gonna fix this a little bit because i don't want him to be that fat he's fat but he's not like not that like he's not that thick here we are there and that's how you draw little babies little babies compared to the the adults um keep it simple dynamic shots will ruin cute it ruins cute like you can't you can't do that if you do something dynamic it removes your ability to make it really simple because whenever you're creating um a design for a baby animal or a baby person or whatever uh, they are in their most simple 
uh, simplest form of life. And if you do something dynamic, it kind of ruins that shape and that cuteness and that simplicity that you're really going for. Don't focus a ton on sharp edges. You wanna focus on super squishy, squishy, squishy. So let's draw a few more babies. Um, I'm gonna start with the big cranium. Here we are. And I want him to be howling. Let's do a howling baby. I want his nose to be kind of like over here, real tiny, real tiny ears. The little floofs are over here. Go. And then you've got the howl for the baby. And you can see the under part of their jaw when you do this, but you also want to keep in mind that they are squishy. Squishy, milk-bellied babies. And you've got the cranium. Okay. Cranium. Oof. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. There we are. Little tiny nose. Underside of that chin and it's okay to erase it's okay to make mistakes do it all the time your um your eraser your control z is going to be your best friend of all time here it's a little puppy puppy howling So when you're drawing cute, you want to stay loose, just like when you're drawing anything else. And you want to keep in mind that there are the tiny eyes, tiny ears, big cranium, and then tiny everything else. And the body needs to be um, tiny compared to this head. Because the body has a lot to do to grow, to catch up with that head. The body's got a lot of growing to do, but the head doesn't necessarily have a lot of growing to do. So I may, I drew this too big. Make it smaller. Then I would say this draw line would probably come more like over here. Real small. He's real small. He's a small boy with the floofs. Yeah. Yeah, and then I kind of want to do like the milk belly. Like these things are so cute. These little puppers are so cute. And they've got the fat arms. Actually, this one, he's doing a full-on wolf howl. This fatness. And like I said, you don't want to do anything too complicated. This is obviously something a real wolf pup would do, so I'm going to try it. But you've got the tiny, teeny tiny paws. And the fat arms. Just keep working with it until it kind of works. Tiny shoulders. Tiny, tiny. And I don't know why this formula works for cute. A lot of people use like giant eyes for cute. But this has always worked for me. Whenever you just use smaller eyes, much bigger um, pupils, small ears, and a big cranium, and it just screams, screams baby, screams puppy, infant, must protect, do not attack. There you are. Real loose. 
really really loose and I want fat rolls this is a fat fat puppy with the milk belly mm. with the tail sticking out from the back there's a little howler little howler puppy little potato pup let's move you over here Get rid of Childs. Well, and I'll move you over here. Little puppers. So I did two of them sitting down. That's like the, my favorite position to draw little puppies in. But let's do one standing up. So let's say this one has his head kind of cocked. Their ears aren't super stable at this point in their lives. So sometimes they like flop over and it's adorable. They don't want it to flop over too much though. Little babies, little ears, big cheeks. The cranium's actually not big enough for me. I'm gonna pull the ear over a bit. Big cranium. And then let's do the noses like over here. There we are. And then we'll do a, a big smile. Big smile, tiny muzzle. Smile's too big, I think. His muzzle isn't that big. Tongue coming out, the little tooth, and then a really, really tiny chin. Okay, so that eye line, I'm actually, that's the only part I like. I'm gonna get rid of the rest. <laughs> okay, so you got a big cranium coming out from that. Something kind of like that is better, I think. You got tiny ear over here, and then a tiny over ear over here that's kind of tilted a little bit. Not quite like stew, but tilted enough. And then you've got an eye line that comes right about here. We don't want to make those eyes too small or too big. Just big enough to be cute, and they're far apart. Yeah. And then big pupils. Big pupils. And then the eyebrows come up here. And you've got your oops. Or your cheek over there. Yeah. And then this is where I want that cranium to be, and he's got a little bit of fluff. Right up there. This puppy's a little bit older, I think. And that's okay. And then we'll add some hair into those ears. And then let's draw the body standing up this time. So we did one sit we did two sitting down. So we've got the neck coming off of that head initially got it coming off of down here and you've also got it coming off over here so essentially this is kind of where your neck is you can just put in like the placeholders of where it's going to land and then you've got the area where the chest comes off and then that bleeds into your shoulder and your shoulder is like I mentioned earlier it's really really tiny but it kind of goes into like these real cute puppy legs that are just they're not like super fat but they've kind of got that feel to them they're a little bit thicker this guy's got a little bit more of a chest here he's a tough little guy don't mess with him little shoulders here and you want it to come off about off the body about that far and then you got tiny 
Tiny little paws. Tiny little paws. Here we are. And you just work with it until it kind of looks right. You see the shoulder is kind of coming off here. Like he's got a little bit of muscle. But he is, for the most part, just a little floof. A little floof ball. And then you've got that back end coming out here. And that big old milk belly. Go milk belly is what I call it. You kind of have like the indention of the milk belly. This this little guy had plenty to eat today. And you got that tail back here. And I this is what I always do with stew. But I draw the tail kind of in different places. Like I draw three of them and then I'll just do a couple lines across. And it looks like he's a... Uh, it looks like he's just wagging his tail. Okay, we'll do his knee back here. And then a thick little leg. Oh, Talon Hunter, thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. I hope this stream is helpful if you're looking to draw a little, little puppy dogs. All right, another knee coming out over here. Uh, back legs are hard. Um, on puppies, they're a little bit easier because it's literally just a squish, a squish factory. So you've got that knee. I, I kind of start out with that little roundness of the knee and then I come out with that, that back hawk. I don't remember what that's called, but then it kind of goes into that bottom part of the leg. And then you got like the teeny tiny paw coming off of that leg. Same thing over here. Don't think about it too much, too much. Just stay real loose. Stay real loose. He might be a little too fat with his little milk belly. So I'm gonna pull it in just a little bit. You're a fat little pup. Fat little pup. Yeah. There, I'd imagine it look a little bit more like that and you just gotta kind of fiddle with it until it looks right. But it's really just fat legs. Um, the other thing is if you can pigeon toe the legs as much as possible it really adds to the cute factor it's not something you have to do but like look at this if i pigeon toed his legs here it becomes um it looks a little bit more like this and pigeon toe is just you know like they kind of face each other a little bit more like a bulldog even if i just face this a little bit more towards the camera where it's still kind of facing the other way, but not as much. And it adds that cuteness. And that's just him learning how to stand and like learning how to walk. And gotta keep that neck a little bit thinner there. I think his neck would be more like that. Coming into his chest and then his little shoulders are not that, not that muscular. He's a little baby. Thank you so much for the donation. We've got a donation from Ava Joy English and from Shiloh the Wolf. Thank you for the donations. Shiloh, I've told you not to boot me, man. Why must you do these things to me? Why must you attack me? Okay. Go. And then I don't really like all this fluff. So I'm going to redraw the fluff. And you've got a little, little wolf pup. I'm gonna make that head a little bit um, fluffier. He's like a little arctic wolf, I'd imagine. He's kind of a big, muscly dude. And then I think this might be a little too thick. Made him a little too thick. But if you if you start focusing on the anatomy too much, like I said, you're going to uh, lose the looseness. You're gonna lose the simplicity. And it's gonna look a little bit more like an adult. Like the more you mess with it, like I feel like I've already made him look more like an adult. Cause you gotta, you gotta keep that fat, and you gotta keep the squishiness, and you gotta keep the cuteness. A little cute little floof. Okay, 
So now we've got a uh, little wolf pup standing up. What else should we make him do? How about, have you ever seen the puppies that like lay on their backs and they're just like rolling on the ground trying to like scratch their backs or whatever? We'll do a little pose like that just to end this off. So let's do a little, little pup. This is going to be his head here. And like I said, if you do things that are too dynamic, it's going to make things a bit, a bit rough. But we'll just say his muzzle's like right here. Well, actually, we'll say that muzzle's like up here. So like just laying on his back. We got the little ears coming out this way, coming out that way. Fluff, little fluff. I want to put the nose like right here. Here we are. Like what if he's looking at like a, put in like a butterfly or something. Yeah, I can't draw butterflies. Don't laugh at me. Let's say he's looking at a butterfly. He's like really interested in this butterfly. Real small muzzle. Here we are. You get those eyes in there. Big old cranium. Eyebrows would kind of be up here for the most part. Get rid of those circles. And we want to keep that muzzle short and very petite. Very petite, very short, very small compared to the rest of his head. We'll say his neck's like up here. And that means that his legs are gonna be like over here. And I'm just kind of roughing this in at this point. And then the rest of his, you can see his little milk tummy through the side here. And then we could twist the body I'm not going to twist the body too much. We'll just say he's laying kind of flat on his back. And then those little, little feet are kind of like over here. Here we are. Little wolf pup. And I feel like his noggin drawn a little bit strange so I'm gonna erase that and kind of pull it off of the part that I like which is just I think the eyes kind of came out all right I think they could be better but they're all right just to show the uh, the idea of where this little pup is laying and then let's just there we are let's just do something like that his fluff would be like over here. His other fluff would be like over there. Then his ear is actually underneath him there. But this one is, we'll say that one's like out. Out for the count. We really want that cute puppy leg. So we'll fatten it out a bit. And you got the tiny paw at the end of that here. Just chilling, watching the butterflies. I'm gonna make his nose into a heart. Fight me. No. All right, cute little pup. Animating these guys is like, oh man. Um, that's a ride. Animating these, these little fluff balls is like, 
It can be super difficult. <laughs> it's hard enough animating Stu and he's not even like a baby baby. But they just, they jump around, they have energy, they move constantly. Like they're so hard to animate. But they're so cute. The little wolf pups. There we are. So we just want something kind of like that. We'll say his tail's like over here. The ground. There we are. Now, I did say at the beginning of this session that you can use this formula for any species. And I will die on that hill <laughs> that you can use this formula for any species. And for those that aren't aware of the formula that I'm talking about, the formula is literally just the big, the big skull, the tiny little, um, tiny little snout or the tiny little muzzle. You've got um, tiny ears. I'm making a wolf child. <laughs> like from Wolf Children. I need to go watch that movie again. That's so good. There you go. Done. Um, tiny ears. Eyes set lower. And far apart. Tiny nose. Tiny jaw, tiny mouth. You know, remove those ears. And you basically, you go know, tiny ears, tiny ears, big pupils. So that's a human. That's a human baby. With the big skull tiny ears, tiny nose, eyes are down, but now watch this. So if I remove these ears here and these ears there and I put them up here and I remove this nose, and I remove this mouth and I put a nose here. Close that formula. So now you can go and you can make your own baby animals. So what I would like to do next is if you guys did draw along with me, I would love to see your little baby drawings. Um, and the way you can do that is you can share your little baby drawings. Just an adult. <laughs> Let's move you down here. 
just move you out. Done. Continue. Okay. So, um, yes, what I would like to do is I would like to see y'all's baby drawings. If you drew along with me and you have a few cute uh, little wolf drawings, kind of like I, I do have here, I would definitely love to see it. There is a link to my Discord in the description below. Please click on it and then you can share that with me. What I want to do is next week um, on the tutorial on Thursday, I would love to show off the drawings that you guys did of the little puppies and all of that fun stuff. I do these tutorials every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And now that that is literally it. So I'm gonna open this up for the next 10, 15 minutes. If you guys have any questions about uh, the little puppies or what I'm using or anything like that, um, please fire away. Sionda Elim, what painting app do you use? I am using uh, Adobe Fresco. Mel Melanie, I'd love to hear your questions. Ray, why are the tutorials just for members? It's a tutorial. It should be for everyone. That's true. That's why I wanted to open it up to everyone just while it's live. Uh, I did promise my members the tutorials whenever they go private. Um, and I'm also hoping to do more tutorials in the future. So uh, I want to redo these tutorials as I go, as I get better, because knowledge is growing and things like that. Um, so if you want to enjoy my tutorials, please don't forget to hang out uh, on Thursday, um, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's the time that I'm going to be uh, allowing everyone to watch the tutorials. So please take advantage of it then. Um, but if you'd like to watch it after that, then it's open for members. So please jump in, become a member, become part of the pack and enjoy the tutorials whenever you would like it. Uh, to Momi, thank you so much for the donation. You shall not boop the nose. How do I make the, Melanie asks, how do I make the drawings look easy but hard? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just practice, I guess. Kiwi, have you made a video about snouts? Um, so the very first tutorial that I did was wolf faces, expressions, mouths, and things like that. I cover snouts in there a little bit if you want to watch it. It's free for everyone. It's linked in the description of this video. Awesome wolf, can I draw a puppy sleeping? So it'll be really similar to the fourth one that I drew of the puppy on his back. Um, there is a puppy that I drew in the thumbnail where Cookie is actually a puppy in that one. He's like sleeping, but maybe in the next tutorial, I will draw a, a cute little puppy sleeping. Let's see, what's another one? Uh, Horse Lover says, what drawing tablet do you use? I don't use a drawing tablet. I use a Surface Pro 6 and I draw right on the screen and I love it. And no one can ever take it away from me or pry it from my hands. It's, it's mine. It's definitely mine. It's not mine. I love my Surface Pro. I will advocate for it until the day I die. I love it so much. If you're looking for a program, that's the one that I would definitely recommend. How would you animate these? Like, would they be wobbly or a little bit sturdy? Asks Karina. Uh, they would be, depending on the specific age, that you're going for they would either be more wobbly or more sturdy um i would say these cute little puppers would probably be more wobbly they'd probably sleep a lot this is the most they've been awake in a while like that kind of thing uh, i will do another tutorial on how to animate them drawing them is a, a completely different beast than animating them so um if you're interested i can do a tutorial in animating these guys if that's something that you guys would like to see because their movement is much different. Let's see, favorite, what was y'all's favorite pup from the stream? Is a question I got. <laughs> what app do I use for animating? I use Adobe Animate CS6. So if I did a tutorial on how to animate these cute little puppers, I would use Animate during that tutorial. But that's not the only animation software out there. There are free ones. There are other great ones that you can use besides Adobe. So please understand your options before you spend any money on things. I do pay for the Creative Cloud.
sparkly how did you discover this cheat cheat way tk <laughs> um lots of practice and observing and i have taken courses as well on um like wolf anatomy human anatomy and things like that just you know courses that i found online so um this is a combination of like the things that i've observed as well as the things that i've learned uh from drawing courses that i've taken and now i'm sharing with you guys let's see um what category in discord do we put these peppers in so that you can see them you can actually direct message them to me uh otherwise like they'll get lost in absolutely everything like if you put them in the normal art category they'll be gone forever <laughs> like I'll never see them <laughs> so please direct message them to me and then I would be more than happy to show the artwork that you guys made in the next tutorial like at the end of the stream I'll, I'll show um, I'll show what you guys drew like what puppies you drew during this one Next question is the flat pancake. How do you make the same character look the exact same between different shots? Um, that's what reference sheets are for. Uh, that's what they're so helpful. That's why they're so helpful. I can't English at all today. Uh, but basically you have to understand the proportions of the different characters based off of the reference sheet. Um, a, a veteran animator and a veteran artist is able to take a reference sheet and replicate any style, replicate any character, um, and all of that kind of stuff, uh, because that's what they're expected to do in their jobs. They have to draw a bunch of different art styles and things like that, depending on what their the project is that they're working on and all of that kind of stuff. Awesome Wolf asks, how do we direct message you? Click on the Discord link in the description of this video, and then you can... Uh, send me a direct message through Discord. I hope that helps. <laughs> uh, Melanie, Catherine, do you do shout outs? Uh, I don't necessarily do shout outs, um, but I do videos once a month of like top donators of the previous month. So I do shout them out. Um, I shout out my guardians. I shout out my voice actors. Um, and I do shout outs um, for people that have either donated a ton to me or people that are in my pack or um, just the people that support me or my friends or whatever. But uh, those are the shout outs that I, I typically do. Let's see, Tiny Star the Cat. I actually duplicate the frame of the first image and make it blue and kind of change the pose of the thing that I'm animating. That's actually fantastic. So. Um, that's a really awesome tip if you are uh, creating a brand new character. One thing that you can do is while you're creating it, you can do exactly what you said. You draw out that character one time, you duplicate that frame, and then you can like change things about it. And then look at that, you've got like a variation of character. And that's always super helpful to do that, to have multiple variations. And then you can pick which one you like the most. Corgi says, wait, can I send you the screenshots of them now? Yes, definitely. And I will show them in the next tutorial stream on Thursday next week. Perfect Pup Productions, who taught you to animate? Um, I taught myself, but I've also taken a lot of art courses. I haven't honestly taken a lot of animation courses. That's probably why I'm not great at it anymore. <laughs> Like, my art got better, my animation got worse. <laughs> so, uh, Udemy is your friend. Aaron Blaze is your friend. Like, there are so many fantastic um, art courses and tutorials and things that you can find online that will definitely help you. It definitely helped me. Like, it took my art into a completely different category than what it used to be. Like, if you guys have seen Wolf Song, and if you see how I draw now, completely different category. It's like an 11-year-old drawing versus like a 30-year-old drawing. <laughs> Let's see. Tra uh, trash Army. I'm sorry. Your name is Trash. Uh, did you get in 
did you get inspired to animate? Not sure if you're asking like how you get inspired. Um, for me, I like to watch other animators. I think that's pretty inspiring. Coco, hi, I love your drawings. Hi, thank you, Coco. Do appreciate that. That's super nice of you. All right, guys. Um, do you have any other questions? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, but before I do that, let me just flip over here. There were a lot of you that donated. So I want to give a quick shout out to everyone that donated. Here we are. Do, 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 do. La, 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 la. Let me put the thumb back on so we can look at the cute, the cuter puppies that I spent more time on than these, than these little bulldog puppies. Um, yeah. How to draw wolf pups, mega cute edition. Uh, also, if you guys found this helpful, please comment below and let me know. Uh, if you found this terrible, please comment below and let me know. I'm honestly trying to become a better teacher and it's a little bit hard to draw and teach, but I would love any kind of critique that you guys have. I would love to become better at this. Um, so anything that you have to tell me, I'm super interested in. Uh, and before I end the stream, just want to say, oh, Melanie, what's your question? Well, while you type your question, I'll go ahead and thank everybody that's donated. Uh, so thank you, Fire Cheetah Girl, for donating. Thank you, Shiloh the Wolf, even though you booped me. Not nice. Um, thank you, Minecraft Ellie Belly. Thank you, Tomomi. Thank you, uh, Talon Hunter. And, oops. Thank you, Ava Joy. And then we have more Timomi, more Shiloh the Wolf. Thank you guys so much for donating. Um, it really is helpful. It helps me make more stuff like this, so I totally appreciate it. Okay, so Melanie asks, okay, so can you try drawing on paper some characters? I am so bad at drawing on paper because I always try and control Z when I mess up. Like, I'm so bad at it. Like, I'll do it if you guys really want to get more information on how to, like, draw on paper. I'm totally down to do that. Just let me know if, if that's the kind of thing you're interested in learning. Um, paper is hard <laughs> because I can't control Z. Like, I can't, like, I have to erase and erasing's hard. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching my How to Draw Wolf Pups Mega Cute Edition. Like I said earlier, would love to hear how I can become better at these things, or if I was clear, or if it made sense, or if it was hard to draw along with me. And I would love to see all of your drawings. So don't forget to click below, um, join the Discord, and send uh, and send your artwork to me so I can show it in the next stream. Oh, wait, there is still one more question that I have for you guys. What would you like to learn next time? Oh, wait, like I need to know. <laughs> What would you guys like to learn? Because this time it was um, puppies. I've done heads, paws, body. How to draw birds. I can't draw birds. I can draw birds. I can try to draw birds. <laughs> How to animate on flip a clip. Okay. Can I draw on paper? I could try to draw on paper. How to animate walking. Walking is a... Uh, Walking can be difficult, but I can try and animate walking. Dragons, how to draw a fox, how to draw kittens. Animate a wolf talking. Ooh, Tiny Star, I have a video about lip sync. It's called How to Lip Sync Like a Boss. It's super totally free to the public. It's on my channel if you want to go check it out. It walks you through how to lip sync a wolf. How to draw wolf emotions. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good one like how to make them emote and things like that. That's a great idea, Awesome Wolf. Dragons. <laughs> how to animate wings. Wings are hard. I can't even like draw wings. You want me to animate wings? <laughs> That's like so hard. <laughs> Tails. Tails are interesting. What's up, Alador? What's your question? Yes, emotions. We should do like an emote. Um, tutorial. If you guys are interested in doing like an emote tutorial where I teach you how to do a bunch of different emotions on wolf faces, I'll even throw in like some lip syncing type stuff in there because that that counts. That counts. Legs, tails, ears, and also the fur. Yeah, Chloe, that's good. Like fur is hard. Fur is like 
a pain in the booty for sure tears crying a raindrop says Saphir. that's a good one i just recently figured out how to draw tears <laughs> and it's only like kind of okay <laughs> Karina, how to draw big teeth like the whole mouth. That is good. Try drawing a griffin. Ooh, that's good, Melanie. Angela says maybe shading. Shading is interesting. You have to kind of understand where the light's coming and where the light's falling and all of that kind of stuff. I noticed you, Saphir. I noticed you. <laughs> uh, Chloe, Thunder, can you make a real life life wolf like um, really realistic drawing? Maybe so. I'm not like super great at that, but I can try. <laughs> All right, guys. Next time we will uh, we will do most likely emotions because that's the biggest one that I could see on here. Um, wolf emotions, uh, wolf lip syncing, and things like that. So um, don't forget to join next week on Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And until then. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I hope to see you during the art gallery stream on Tuesday and again on Thursday. Bye, guys. Have a good night.